Good afternoon. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Balding White Guy Caucus. I'm Representative Mike McKell. With the radio voice, all of a sudden from nowhere. That's nice. And I'm Walt Brooks. And we are joined today by a very special guest, Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox. That is my real name, yes. And it's your real name. <laughs> so our first question, because the whole premise of this thing is we routinely get confused with each other. Okay. Do you ever get confused with a famous person? Uh, no. No, I do not. <laughs> that, that has never happened, ever. So you've I never mean, been, even personalities like, like us? Well, well, maybe. Uh, I, I do get, so the, the governor's chief of staff, uh, people confuse us very often. We have the same, you know, traits that balding white guys and that's it he, he's but, a uh, member he justin, is a member just yes, yeah, 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 yeah yeah so yeah. people often think he's the lieutenant governor i think i'm the, the chief of staff but that's that's as close as it gets i guess <laughs> to a famous person <laughs> we routinely think that people will get over it and not confuse us anymore but it right. continues to happen throughout the session. even sure. with the yeah. even with not the photo not. cards and stuff <laughs> <laughs> they'll they will point to a picture of justin and say that's not you. <laughs> so. I, I do. People confuse me for uh, Brad Pitt often, but I, I don't consider him that famous. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's really kind of not. I don't think that counts. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm David Beckham personally. That's the one. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I can he see that. his hair. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He's just does it on, He just does it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Spencer, or, yes. or should I call you Spencer, Lieutenant please. Governor? No. It's just a long, it's a really short segment, so yeah. we're calling you That's Lieutenant fine. Governor. It's short enough. Um, so does the governor let you hold the scepter sometimes, or sit yeah. in the throne? I, that was no. really my major question. I mean, he did, it's a tough question. I, I don't know how to answer it. Like, he doesn't let me, um, <laughs> but, but he leaves on occasion, yeah. and when nobody's around, I, you know, kind of sneak in and do my thing. So, yeah, yeah, it happens. Okay. But it it right. seems like that's kind of your job as lieutenant governor, right? Well, kind of, when yeah. he leaves, he says an unpleasant task or an invitation. Right. Then just magically he has a conflict and, and you it, step it and in. And that, that happens, right. yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, in statute it says other duties as assigned and their duties. I mean, it's, yeah. You've got to yeah. take care of business. You do. Midnight yeah. town hall in Blanding. Right, right. Those, those, that's it. <laughs> and I love Blanding. I mean, it's my favorite I place to hold the midnight town hall. <laughs> So when you're on your way, I know you have like a hundred mile commute, right? Right, right, yeah. Or, or when you're on your way to Blanding, uh, do you run lights and siren hot or yeah, so, so you have an escort or how's that work? Right, interesting story. Um, so no sirens in mm. the vehicle, so uh, I don't get to do that. And uh, I don't get any security. Because as the governor uh, likes to put it, you're expendable. I think those were, those, I didn't use those exact words, but it was inferred. It was inferred. He did say, I've, I've replaced one of you before, I can do it again. So, that's kind of how it works. Okay. So, so yeah, no, no, no lights and sirens, I'm just out there with, with the... In the know, farm truck. In the farm truck, yeah, doing, doing my thing. Yeah, Have you yeah. been pulled over? Uh, I got I actually got pulled over by the Fairview City cop that, <laughs> that I hired when I was the, the mayor. So did you take the speed limit side down and go to court? Well, in, <laughs> interestingly enough, uh, I did not pull an Andreg, um, as as we call it. But I uh, I actually got pulled over because the tint um, the security had put on the vehicle was too dark. It wasn't for speeding. Um, interestingly enough, so uh, so fortunately I. He just wanted to know what celebrity was in the it, It's true, it yeah. And, and, well, and again, he thought it was Brad Pitt, and that was awkward. <laughs> but, yeah. Tinted windows in Fairview, I could see that looking a little suspect. It is. <laughs> yeah. Drawing some attention. Right, right. Hydraulics and ground effects. Can't be anything good going on there. No. So, so uh, one of the things we do is try to uh, just give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to our many viewers, to yeah. our wide viewing audience. Right. Uh, We're really just trying to break a hundred, so go ahead. Tim. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, with Schultz, we shattered a hundred. Oh, yeah. Shattered. Really? Yes. Wow. It's dad. His dad. Oh, yeah. it's boom. Wow. Well, I guess we set the bar. Unfortunately, they don't just count for the times that we actually watch the movie. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we wanted to ask you uh, just sort of a pop culture reference. What's your favorite band? Uh, my favorite band. Um, so it's it's his son's band, actually. Uh, I no, thought it'd be it's actually it's my son's band. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> his son my, graduated last year. My son's band is a close second. Yeah, they got the no, battle of the They're band. really good. Yeah, yeah. So so my son, they, they took first in the multi-region over the weekend. Congrats. We're really excited yeah, I saw about that. They, they took first in state last year. Yeah. I mean, they were they were amazing, but my my favorite. I'm a U2 guy. I grew up, uh, you know, that that was my band of choice through uh, through high school, and uh, I'm still I'm still a fan. 
a new planned event, correct? I do. Yeah, you yeah. have lots of time to practice. I'm sure. Uh, no, good. we don't play nearly as much as we used to. But uh, but when I when I do get a chance to play, it's great. It's it's my kind of release. You know, if you had a Tesla yeah. like Dixon Pitcher who reads his bills on the way right, to right. his commute, if you had a Tesla, you could practice. Well, that's that's true. Tesla. I mean, I, I don't have a Tesla, and I still read my bills on the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean, don't try this at home. I, I, I really mission. don't. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Nothing can be held <laughs> yeah, in, in a court of law. None of this uh, is real. So, well, you're from Fairview, so uh, I assume you play the banjo. Uh, no, I don't play the banjo, but uh, um, uh, I play the spoons oh, and, well, the, and the washboard. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. The More than one it. instrument. Or, yeah, the, the jug. Right. Yeah, yeah. We do have a member of our band who plays the banjo. Very talented. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, so, do you have a stunt double? I know you're expendable, but do you? Right. Have no, I do all my own stunts. Okay. Yeah, all, right. all my own tweets. Uh, so really, it's, it's own tweets really dangerous. That is it, it's dangerous. Well, the president does his too. So. Yeah. And, and, until one goes wrong, and then it's an intern. But still, it's it's all good. Right? It's a crazed intern. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just oh, you the president of the United States. Yes. Yeah, I thought yeah, you were yeah. talking about the Senate president. Oh no, so. no. Well, him Sorry. too. That's, yeah, honestly, yeah. he gets a little wild and crazy on Twitter too. <laughs> he does I mean, the two a.m. Yeah. tweets. I will yeah. say though, like I I've always been really worried about my Twitter. I'm convinced it's going to get me fired. But now that the president is here, like I'm good. I'm fine. I don't have anything to worry about ever again. No, you're so right. It's you're absolutely right. The standard has been set. Yeah, the standard is set. The bar has been, bar has been very low. raised or lowered, whichever way you, you want to look at it. So. So, so tell me about your time in the legislature, which I know is a very short time, yeah. versus your time in the executive branch. Sure. Biggest difference there? Uh, maybe some insights you could share? Yeah, the, the biggest difference is um, in the executive branch, we're always right. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and you can say anything you want, and, and we don't have to follow through, and then we get villains. It's okay. true. It's Go true. No, no, it's, it's fantastic. No, um, honestly, uh, I, I miss the legislature, especially during this time. And, I, and I, I'm being completely serious now. I love the House uh, more than anything I've, I've ever done uh, in, in politics. Uh, in the, your long this, tenure. In my long, long tenure. tenure. Hey, I've been a mayor, I've been a county commissioner, I've been a city councilman, I've been in the House, and I've, I've now been in the executive branch. But I, I really did. I, I mean, that, that camaraderie, the energy on the floor, the, the decision making comes at you so fast, and you have to make those rapid decisions. Um, I, I miss that. It's, it's so much more calm and and uh, we have to think like long term and you know, I mean not that you guys don't I'm sorry I didn't mean that as a yeah all right I'll stop now <laughs> no but, no no it's good but uh, it's yeah. it's it is really different and um, you know we're your my constituency is the entire state which is very different from, from sure. a district of thirty eight thousand people and uh, and so it, it changes your perspective on on different things but it wasn't an easy transition you know I kind of. I, I think I, I was maybe better at the legislative side than the executive side, and I'm, I'm slowly kind of learning what, makes what you that say means. That. Um, just I, I really like to make the, the quick decisions. I, I think that the, the the way you they call it you know drinking from a fire hose. That's what we talk about. And uh, at first it was a little overwhelming, but by the end of the session you kind of get in the flow of it, and uh, you see. The, you're just making, I mean, you guys are going to vote on 200 bills in the next four days, right? <laughs> and yep. it's it's a big deal, but uh, it's it's intense, but um, but enjoyable. So I, I like making the sausage. Cool. This is probably a good segue into us talking about, from a legislative perspective, of the value of the governor's budget and the attention that we pay to that document. Right. It's, uh, I'm sure you have a copy on your <laughs> desk here somewhere, unless they've emptied the garbage. We keep it in our jacket yeah. pocket. Sure, they sure. Just pocket, yeah. Yeah. Pocket, yeah. Uh, yeah. pocket budget. Well, I will tell you, that was one of the things. I was shocked at how much time went into formulating the governor's budget when I got there, yeah. because I knew how important it was to, to us. Those of us that were in the legislature, and I realized that the time spent on working on it wasn't commensurate with the uh, with the time spent actually paying attention to it. <laughs> and but that's okay; it, it's important, and and it does it doesn't matter. I know we joke around and think it doesn't, but we set that bar at times, and it causes you guys some grief. So. Well, and it sets the conversation. It, it sets, sets the conversation. The it does. Yeah, more. yeah. And by the way, it's been a really good year. Executive legislative branch relations on the on the budget and other things. Because they're still talking to the Speaker of the House. We're st they're still talking to each other. They're still friends. It's great. <laughs> Usually by week four we just hate each other, and here we are last week, and we we also kind of like each other. So it's been the best session of. This is my fourth as the Lieutenant Governor. 
Well, so you've had a lot of different experience in public service, and now you've been lieutenant governor now for is it three and a half three and a half years? Yeah. So, give us a sense. What are the highs and lows of that office? Like, what's the best aspect, and what's the just toughest thing you have to deal with? So, it's interesting. I I, I tell people I get to see um, I get to see people on their best days and their worst days, and. Uh, it's the best days are great, you know. I get to I get to drive around and see just the incredible things that are happening here in our state. Get to meet amazing people, be involved in some great things, and and hopefully accomplish something along the way, which I like. But I also get to see people on their worst days. Um, we went up uh, with uh, with Representative Sandal, my my body double. We went up to <laughs> to, to tour the flooding uh, just a, a week or. So. A little more than a week ago, up in northern Utah, I saw what was happening there. You know, people are having a really bad day when that happens. Um, uh, you and I got a chance to meet with families of uh, of armed service men and women who lost their lives over this this past year. Yeah. I mean, those are those are tough times. Yeah, sobering. Uh, very sobering. But but interestingly, those are some of the best times in that you get to see people on their worst days. Uh, doing amazing things and the way they, they rally, watching neighbors come together, communities come together to help out people who have a, their basement flooded or who have lost a loved one. Uh, you realize that we live in a pretty amazing state and, and I'm lucky to be a part of that. So, and so are both of you. Wish no, you thank you. For my life. And crises bring out the best and worst in They do. Yeah. yeah it's, nice. Do. it's nice to see the best. Yeah. yeah. The reaffirmation that people are at, at bottom are decent, good hearted. It's true, and, and there's so much of that here. It's, it's easy to get caught up in the bad things that are happening, but uh, I, 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 I believe more in society because of this job, um, and, and I know that's not the case everywhere. You know, I've got I've to gotta say hats off to you and the governor. I think you're both very compassionate people. You All right, so can I share one thing with you guys? So Absolutely. I, I went to lunch today, and uh, I, my fortune cookie, this is what it said. Uh, your hard work is about to pay off, and and I knew immediately this this was the payoff. <laughs> I mean, this is this <laughs> is it. it. I mean, my the hard BWGC work has led to this. This, this is a hot <laughs> ticket. It, it is a hot. We ticket. had to You're bump. Right. You know, we had to bump our numerous groups oh, that sure, are trying to get on to yeah. fight their way onto the show. I mean, it's got to be the biggest caucus <laughs> up here, right? White guys well, it's without hair. It's, it's, it's receding, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> caucus is receding. Oh, oh. oh. Right. we did have to bump some with folks, that. No, no, the dad jokes. <laughs> it's a good, good addition. Yeah, I like that. Well, thanks, thanks, guys. Really, it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.